Hello, users. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Anyway, so welcome back. This is Doom 3. Uh, being played on the BFG edition. And, uh... So far, it's been pretty fun. So yeah, uh... It's been a hot minute since I've played, so... Hey you! Ah. Can you help me? I'm trapped in here! Release Let's open the, the chamber. Door. Let's be a little nice to the guy. I'm feeling good. I'm be a good girl. Let's be nice. Just kidding? Yeah. Larry Kazinski. Okay. Michael Abrams. Can I get in here? Alright, let's see what these guys have to say. Bernie! Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the Armament Division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. BFG? Well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security port in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Put it down to IT security, change my door code to 901. 901, huh? Chief agents and the lock. 901, huh? Interesting, interesting. I like how you get that so far in advance too. That's pretty cool. I haven't listened to the audio logs in a while. This is another optional scene. Little dead end. It's spooky. <sighs> Marine, make schematics show all passages out of your area blocked. The only way through is by reversing the EFR. Medical substitute will be impossible. Activating the system will get you a direct room, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridge. Saving. So, um, there are two options here for the speed run. This one is faster, uh, and the reason mostly is just because you can jump around here, and then you don't. There's a lot less waiting sequences of like waiting for things to happen, and I believe it's a more direct route. Though, you know, I'm not entirely sure. Um. Yeah, you can jump across those little thin rails where the bridge goes on. And uh, it's kind of hard to do so. It's very easy to fall off, so I didn't do it here. Because this is a let's play. This is not a speedrun. I am a let's player. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying my game. I'm playing casually. Like a casual G. That's such a weird spawn point like really far back. But yeah, in uh this the other one you have to like go across these things. Like those little uh pulleys, I think th whatever they're called. Those more auto scrolling sections. You can normally run past this, but Killing everything. I wonder if Mars has a second amendment? It seems like it with all the fucking guns lying around. Hmm, what's 
what's in here? Over here. Ah, early plasma gun. Wait, is this early? I guess so. I don't think I've ever been here. This game is pretty fun. I'm learning new things. I'm learning! One thing about the original game versus BFG edition is in the original game, when you look uh, at the bottom right, you don't see any ammo um, for a certain weapons, like the plasma gun, because the ammo is listed on the weapon itself. It's a little interesting immersion thing. They take that out in BFG edition, though. Which is the one I am playing. So yeah, there's this really cool thing in a version I'm not playing that I probably should have played, but I didn't. So, what are you gonna do? So a boss is going to be coming up pretty shortly here. If you would have done the trick to get a BFG early, um, you'd be able to kill this boss really quickly. That's how it's kind of supposed to go. Uh, for like, you know, a fast, well-played um, player. But I am not that, and I'm not trying to be that, as this is a let's play. So, I'm not even trying. And that means I can't be bad. I like how you can see them. There's a few scenes like that where you can see them, like, kill people. I think that's the second one. Maybe the third? Yeah, third one, I think. Um, and it's really cool. I think I maybe missed one. But, yeah, it's just, it's really cool. I like it. Anything that makes the world feel like there's more going on than is actually going on, I think, is a very cool video game technique. <laughs> that thing's horrifying. So this boss is really annoying just because of this telekinesis ability thing that it has the ability basically th to throw these things like little cocoons whatever they are around at you and it gets really fucking annoying sometimes especially on higher difficulties when they do more damage but this fucker doesn't have that much health that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Alright, right, is this Bravo team? I like these cutscenes where it kind of goes through the ventilation. Showcases, like, just how not so far you are. Uh, at all. I like how bright my face gets when the, the gunfire happens. I should probably have more lighting. Gonna light a candle. I'm lighting a candle. Warning. See if that does anything for the visuals. I got into candles recently. Pretty cool stuff. Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. Move some stuff so that I don't catch my house on fire. Oh shit. Damn, I've got I've got so much fucking ammo. That's one thing again that with BFG edition you just get so much goddamn motherfucking ammo, it's ridiculous. Like, why do I have fucking 300 fucking shotgun shells? I don't even think that there are like 300 enemies in this entire fucking goddamn game. Like, holy fucking shit, fuck. 
And that's just one fucking weapon? Paul Rag? Alright, Paul stuff, what's up? What's Mr. Paul got to say? I guess I can't use the... Okay. Are you gonna speak? Hello? Shit, this is like inaudible. However, I don't understand why we require such a large detail of armed security. This is inaudible, dude. Now you may disagree. Speak up. But I trust my team's mental condition far more than whatever programming is running inside those bots. Which brings me to the reason for this report. Today, one of my best engineers, Patrick Thomas, was near the shop when the bots refused to clear. That's right. Yeah, I actually like that audio log. If you could hear it, that is. It was almost inaudible, but that was pretty fun because the actual bots are really terrible and they shoot at you a lot, so I like the fact that there's someone who, like, complains about it. Alright, let's listen to this other audio log. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the Enpro Facility. Enpro Facility. Other than my weekly inspection of the coolant system, I discovered yet another safety violation. As I've stated repeatedly, our service manuals must be followed only when this includes changing that I can't fucking hear a word this motherfucker's saying. Why didn't he think about the demonic invasion when he was fucking speaking? I can't fucking hear you, dude. Up in smoke? Let me be clear. If I see this again, the team responsible will be transferred to sewage treatment before the day is over. Sewage treatment! Damn, this guy sounds like a jackass. I'm gonna be honest. I take back what I said, the kind words. I don't even know if I gave any kind words, but if I did, I'd take him back. Oh, this is a good cutscene. Help me! Help me! So this introduces the lost soul, which in Doom 3 is pretty fun. They look really cool. They're very literally flying skulls. And they go a little bit further than that, just make them like really lifelike heads and faces which is something I'm honestly not a fan of report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations we realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab molecular compact I believe with the ongoing compaction research we will reach our goal of that's her. It honestly is kind of weird to think that like it's like a thing that like you can just see someone's dead body and then also simultaneously hear them speak. That's like a really weird concept. In the original version of the game, you could, like, actually jump along this little path over here, but they patched that for BFG Edition. Why they patched, like, harmless glitches that, like, only just make going a little faster, like, a thing? I, like, it's just bizarre to me that they did so many changes to this game. Between the vanilla, um, like, whatever the final vanilla patch was, um, and then this one, it's just, it's so, so strange. I, I doubt it was much of the original team, either. 
Like, I'm sure it wasn't like some of the original team going like, Oh man, I really wish I would have fixed that. Now I have the opportunity. I, it was more probably just like, I want to go fix the game. I don't know. It's just weird to me. I'm a weird gamer. look at my cell phone while this elevator sequence is going on. The Lost Souls are so fucking creepy. One thing I do like about this game is how throughout most of it you have uh, the sergeant talking to you because of the radio thing. And then you also see Swan and the other guy go around. But like, it's not really clear. They kind of pit them against each other in a really nice way because it's not really clear which one is right. It's cool. It's good, uh, it's a good narrative. Good storytelling. You can just run over and click that, and then it despawns all the enemies when you do this cutscene. Fun fact. Actually, that might not be a fact. I might have lied. I don't actually remember if it does that. Fun fact. Do you see the card? Do you no. see the card? Okay, let's get to the communication. I also just didn't look. Stop the transmission from there. Whatever you say, counselor. How much cooler would the game be if that guy just became your co-op teammate? Get a second controller plugged in? I'm from Bravo Team! Alright, I'm gonna go around here and kill everything just for fun. One thing I do like about this game is you can shoot the bullets out of the air. Like the projectiles from the imps and stuff. Oh shit, fuck. I got it! I got it! I like how parts of the crosshair are much more visible when you put them on the light. It's cool. Like the outer ring is almost entirely invisible and then you do that and it's like, oh shit. But honestly, I'd kind of prefer to play without a crosshair. I like doing that. It makes me feel immersed. It's like, oh yeah. Like I'd actually be shooting things because I'd be terrible. I do love all the futuristic technology in this game. Super cool stuff. Another thing, um, is that those little healing con like machines in the original game weren't always all at 100. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but in the original uh, Doom 3, a lot of them, most of them, weren't at 100. They'd just be at like a random number, implying that other people had like used them beforehand, and then like didn't use them all essentially. But in BFG edition, they just made them all start at 100. I it's, I don't know, it's a little silly. If I don't blow those up, it's possible that I can get killed by them. So I'm going to play it safe. Because some of these guys can throw projectiles and then blow things up. That was a grotesque noise. I don't know if that was too audible, but it was like a really nasty sound. We got the really good atmospheric music going on.
Oh shit, that didn't kill him? Are you kidding? I like how many barrels there are here. Barrels are really fun. Steve Hammer. My man. What the fuck? Hello? God, this game does that thing where, like, when you bring up the PDA for whatever reason, the mouse just goes to the other fucking screen. Dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. Oh, I gotta we listen to this first. We 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the Enpro plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. 063, huh? 972? Oh, wait, zero, wait. Didn't this bitch say 972? Uh, huh? Maybe I just misheard that because I was not paying attention entirely. <laughs> I don't know. Cutscene! I jumped on into hey. it. Transmission card. We can't stay here. We can't stay it here. Safe. It isn't we safe. I love how fucking just there's so much blood. It doesn't really make any sense, and the animation looks terrible. But that's really cool. There's a lot of attention to detail in this game, but then there's a lot of things like those animations in the cutscene that are just really poor. And I think I'm going to end it here. Because we're going to a new level. And uh, the next level is pretty long, and I don't feel like playing the game that much longer. So this is going to be the end for now. I'm going to... I thought I already reloaded. What the fuck? Did I not finish already? Alright, so I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save it in the menu as well. I can't even name the saves. Doom 1 had nameable saves. And you're telling me Doom 3 can't? Are you kidding? Is this a joke? You could in the original.